Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, it probably isn't going to surprise you when I tell you I like church. I always have. Uh, I embarrassed my mom as a child in lots of ways, but specifically, she was in charge of the church nursery. And when I was five years old, I would beg her to let me go to big church instead of stay in the nursery with her uh, because I loved church. Uh, obviously, God was working in my life at a young age, but uh, I, I loved worship. Again, as a child, I, I would I beg her to bring a hymnal home so I could memorize the songs. And, uh, and then we still sing those at our classic service at 8 o'clock at the McCulloch campus. And, and almost all of them I know and can sing without reading the screen, just because those were burned into my mind, because I love worship. I love people. You guys might notice that too, because I love greeting you and, and trying to figure out names and meet new people and all that. I, I love teaching. Uh, I really, I love all of it. So uh, when I'm not at Calvary and I'm traveling, I'm on vacation, I visit churches all over the place. Uh, I, when I was on sabbatical this summer, I visited some churches in Lake Havasu. Kind of freaked out some people when I showed up. Uh, since I wasn't allowed to worship in person here, I would just go there. So uh, now, of course, I want everyone to attend Calvary. That's kind of my kind of desire, my kind of goal. And, and all of this is biblical because Hebrews chapter 10, verses 24 and 25 tell us this. Let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day of judgment drawing near. So Paul, uh, the writer of Hebrews, not Paul, the writer of Hebrews says, don't neglect gathering together for worship. Get, get together and celebrate so we can encourage each other to love and good works. See, the purpose of worship is to result in our lives being better together so that we can serve and love better than if we didn't worship together in the first place. So, selfishly, I want everyone to physically show up and worship at Calvary. At the same time, I love our online campus and we value everyone who attends, whether they're watching from their home in Lake Havasu or Parker or whether they are thousands of miles away or on the other side of the world. It doesn't really matter to us. We want you to be a part of it uh, because we value all of our worship attenders. So be in worship, live or online, but don't stop there. We also want you to connect in a life group. You need other people knowing your life, what's going on, so that they can encourage you to love and good works. So be in worship, be in life group, connect in teaching, connect in worship, connect in fellowship, so that you can be encouraged and you can encourage others to love better and to serve better. Now, none of that's going to happen in isolation. Just, it isn't. We need each other. In fact, I would put it this way. Uh, following Jesus is a team sport. And of course, as I've already said, I want everyone on the team of Calvary. So uh, I hope I'll see you this weekend because we love and appreciate you. Hope that blesses you. Have a great day.